So here we are in the semi-finals of the Ultimate Fighter. If I win this fight, I get to the finals. So you know, I'm gonna try to put on the show. You see me tagging them early, getting the spinning back kick going. That's what I like to do, man. I like to parry and counter with a body shot because most of the time when you parry and go for a head shot, they parry that. Like, come on, son. How you gonna parry a parry? But it's all good. You see this dude is just swinging away. He playing like the people do online, man. I could barely back away right there. Look, he's still throwing punches. He's not trying to let me live. Like, God dang, you have somewhere to be? about to be on the mat in a second you see me trying to go to the muay thai clinch and i'm sorry i have to do it i know these knees can be a little bit cheesy but that's the only way i can win a fight right now man my hands aren't strong enough and of course i'm not going to hit nobody with a head kick that's going to work so i have to knee him in the muay thai clinch but you see he transitioned the full mount right here and he's not going to let me up man he leaped frogging onto my stomach and he's just going to stand up i'm not sure why he did that but i ain't mad so he's throwing another spinning back kick but I'm going to throw one right back at him like, who you kicking, bro? You kick me, I'm going to kick you right back. And you see me teeing off right now, mixing up the strikes, getting the body shots going, and getting the regular punches going. But I need to throw in some leg kicks as well. It, you know, it's just a learning process, really. I know I have to get better with my striking and get better with my grappling. But my opponent's tagging me up, man. I'm not playing good defense. He's hitting me with the bus driver uppercut, the Sharkisha punch. Let me just back up gather myself and think about what I want to do it's kind of like a chess match man that's what I like about playing offline in career mode because if you know me you know I play online most of the time and really people just play the same way online so it's easy to beat people but in offline everybody kind of fights differently and you got to go into the fight with a different mindset every single time so my opponent he's going to shoot in for a double leg takedown and he's just going to slam me god dang that's how you feel he picked me up, threw me back down to the earth, just earthed me with that slam. It's all good because he didn't do anything with that. I just made one little move and stood right back up to my feet. Man, let me tell you, I cannot wait to dive deeper into career mode because it's just a struggle right now. We struggle fighting. I don't have no power. I don't have any speed. Everyone is better than me. Everybody's rocking me on these weak punches. I don't have no type of chin. It's definitely more cons than pros in my fighting game right now in career mode. But I know it will get better. And I cannot wait for it to get better. Because then I'll be putting people to sleep. Giving people pillows and a blanket. And of course, I'm going to try to work on my submissions also. So you see my opponent trying to throw head kicks, man. And I'm just trying to parry. Do my best at playing defense. But it's just not going to work. He's going to drop me down with a double leg takedown. Into my guard. You see me trying to switch it to full mount. Turn him. There you go. He didn't want to turn him there for a second. I noticed the controls are a little bit unresponsive. Or maybe it's just me. Like I said, my attributes are low. So maybe he's not going to just act the way I want him to just yet. But you see me dropping bombs on him. Dropping those bows. He couldn't do anything about that. He had to transition to get me into his guard. And I'm trying to stand up right here. Like, oh, my head, bro. What's wrong with you? Weirdo, man. He'll freak. So he's going to stand right back up. I tried to hit him with a little cheap shot right there. I do that all the time. When somebody gets back up, I try to throw a head kick or try to throw a hook just to catch him on the way up. So we're back in the Muay Thai clinch. You know what time it is. I'm trying to deliver those knees, but he's going to block it and transition. But nah, son, we're going right back. I'm trying to at least, and he wouldn't let me trip him. So this dude, he has nice defense, man. He must have watched some tapes of the last couple fights because he knows I'm trying to end this fight with some knees, but he could not stop that hip toss. Looking like a judo specialist. A lot of people are asking me why I went with Miss Martial Artist. And I really don't blame you guys for asking that. I know one person asked if I love the Muay Thai clinch so much, why didn't I make a Muay Thai fighter? And another person asked if I love the judo hip tosses so much, why didn't I make a judo fighter? And really, Miss Martial Artist, it really had the most average stats for every attribute that I needed. Like the ground game was decent, the stand-up game was decent, and the clinch game was decent. When it came to the Muay Thai, the stand-up was nice, but the ground wasn't that great. Or when it came to judo, the ground was nice, but the stand-up wasn't that great. So Miss Martial Artist, is basically just like you know all around on 2k i can do a little bit of everything that's why i went with mma instead of the other fighting styles 
So it's a minute left into this first round. Look at my opponent tag me up, man. I have to be careful. I'm trying to back up, but he's going to rock me right there. And uh oh, somebody catch me. I'm going down. Nobody caught me. It's all good, man. Nobody has my back. I'm just got to guard my grill. I'm going to try to get this dude off me, but he going to leapfrog into my chest. It's all good because when they do that, you just got to work for the open guard. So we ain't have guard right now. He's blocking all my transitions, but we good now. Yeah, go ahead and get up off me. Because you don't. Oh, wow. That's what you're doing. He trolling me with the stand up and Superman punch combo. It's all good because I'm in full mount now. You see me dropping bombs on him. Catch those bows. How those taste? I bet they don't taste great. I had to hit him with a few hard shots since he want to troll me. But he's going to try to stand up right here. I'm trying to block these transitions, but I don't have any stamina. So he's going to pretty much do whatever he wants. I'm in his open guard right now. He's going to try to submit me right here. So I'm working for it. I was kind of scared at first. I'm not going to lie, man. I don't have a great submission defense, but somehow I do get out of it. And I honestly just want to stand up, man. It's 10 seconds left into the first round. And let go of my head, bruh, bruh. There we go. It's 10 seconds left in the first round. And I'm going to just try to throw with him. But at the same time, be cautious. Because I'm really not trying to see a flash KO. So that's going to end the first round right there. A pretty good round. It looks like I'm cut open a little bit. Or maybe he's cut open and he was just bleeding on my chest. I hope not because that's just gross. But it's all good, man. As long as somebody bleeding, a lot of people been asking for the blood. So there it is, man. You do have blood in this game. And sometimes it gets really bad. So it just depends on how you cut up your opponent. So you see he's throwing spinning back kicks right there. And he's really just swinging away, man. He's spamming his buttons even though he's a computer. But he's just going to throw another kick. You see, I'm trying to counter and land a body shot. But I just cannot get the timing down. Let me tell you the funniest thing about the Ultimate Fighter in this career mode. The people in the background are trying to give you advice just like the actual TV show. They'd be like, faint, faint, leg shots, set up your strikes. And it's just like, yo, can you shut up? I can't concentrate. That's why I'm getting tad dope. That's the only reason why he rocked me right there. It's all good, man. I regather myself. And I'm just not sure how I'm going to end this fight, yo. I just don't know. Because he's already rocked me twice. And I haven't rocked him at all. Like I said, I have pillows for fists. So I'm not going to be able to punch him to death. I'm not going to be able to do anything on the ground either because my ground game isn't that great. But I'm going to try my best. You see me going to full mount again, but I don't have any stamina. So I can't drop the big bows on him, but I'm not going to allow him to transition. I'm going to just wait until my stamina gets up. And that's all I'm really trying to do, man. I'm trying to block these transitions and just lay here until my stamina recovers. So I'm throwing a few elbows right here. I just want to tell him, it's like, yo, stop moving. Let me get my stamina back and then I'll stand up. And that's exactly what I did. Tried to sneak him on the way, yo. That didn't do anything to him, but you see me hit him with the swerve and the body counter he wasn't ready for that one i'm feeling myself just a tad bit you see me blocking his kicks no sir too quick i'm trying to stand up and box with him now you see me throwing to the body you see the two jabs to his nose he wasn't expecting the jabs i really need to set up my power punches more i'm gonna use those jabs a lot more man i promise but you see right here another front kick and he's trying to throw kicks back at me and every time i try to counter with a body shot he blocks it so he's learning how i fight and i actually like that because i have to switch up my game plan so we're throwing bus driver uppercuts on each other i'm gonna catch him right there he wasn't ready for that one ate his whole chin up and he's just throwing kicks so i'm gonna just back him up against the cage and honestly you should already know what time it is it's time to make his face beat up on knees like i'm really a nice guy i don't want to do this to you sir i really don't but you're not gonna let me win this fight unless i knock you out and my hands are too soft so shh go to sleep just go ahead and go to sleep man somebody get that boy a pillow and a blanket get him his teddy bear too because he's gonna be out for a while man I know a lot of people are probably going to get on me for these knees. And I promise you, I'm not going to finish every single fight like this. I just need to right now. Congratulations, you made it into the finale. I knew you would. Nice work. Don't get too cocky. You beat up some tough guys, but the toughest one is waiting. Keep your focus. Let's get you back home, back in the gym, and right back to work. Congratulations, dude. You're right here. You made it to the finals. Make sure... I don't want to interrupt Uriah Faber, but I cannot take my eyes off his chin. Jesus. Sleep well, eat good, kick some butt.